Right, okay, so this is going to be section two of the large art ELU of the old frame first floor. And there's not really that many differences from how we used to do it before it changed a couple of years ago. So hopefully, no longer, no matter how long you've been doing it, it should be fairly familiar. And I'll go through in a fair bit of detail. I'll start off facing this way. See how we get on. So, first section finishes with hand in water. Starts open, step with the right foot, and keep away left, holding down. So the hands come down as if you're holding onto something, drawing it down. Sink from here. Turn to the left, so turn the waist, wrist roughly on the centre line. And then push, the distance of pulling this way, but push from here. One. And then reach round and then push with this one. Sweeping left and right, and then from the hand onto the waist, bracing the elbow, the fist, turn, get a sense of pulling. But again, push with the foot, presenting the elbow. So the elbow's in line with the leg, this elbow is clear back, pulling backwards, right on the right side. Then from there, dragon emerges, that fist, and then sit back, and push, holding. From there, this hand sweeps across, weight goes forwards, the fist comes underneath. Just make sure this knee doesn't go too far forwards, make sure you can still see your toes. And then sit back, off of the left hand, and then this foot pushes, pull the elbow back, and strike. And this can be a straight punch, or it can be hitting with this part, whichever you prefer. <coughs> Again, make sure the knee doesn't go too far forward, make sure you can still see the toes. And from there, we're going to turn to the left. So hands turn, left foot turns, and then step round. So facing this way. Hands come in for high push. So coming in, a sense of drawing in, turning, and pushing straight forwards. Now, originally we used to keep weight on the right, now change weight over to the left. It doesn't really matter which you do. Sink into your hips, so pushing, and from there, this under elbow. So right hand goes out, left hand comes under, the rolling ball movement. Shift weight if you like as you push. So it's like you're reaching around something, push. And then this hand makes the fist coming under as if you're drawing something in. Left arm comes over the top, right left, and then drop. So sink, elbow follows. Fist under our way. And then four repulsive monkeys. So that expands, weight right. So hand comes in, foot comes in, feel the way back. Sit back and push. Open again. So expand, hands coming in, foot's coming in, get a sense of closing the space. And then palm turns down, feel your way back, drawing back. As you draw back, you're going to turn your foot. As you turn your foot, body turns. Pulling the elbow back, at the same time pushing the hand forwards. So. Number three, open. So hand comes in, foot comes in, again closing. Feel your way back. Sit back and push. So again, body turning, pulls this arm back, pushes this hand forwards. Open again. Last one, number four. Step back, sit back, repulsing monkey. And then pull back, roll back, open, start off the same as repulsing monkey, step back, this time as you sit back, both hands follow. So you're moving something out of the way as it comes towards you. And then from there, white crane spreads wings. So foot comes in, hand onto your arm, so get an idea of sweeping something under. This hand takes over, feel your way back, sit back, bump your shoulder and elbow. As your weight comes onto your right, left foot empty, left arm open. And both hands stay in, in front of you in this space, so not too far back. And then from there, a diagonal push on. We dragon toes pearl holding down on one side. Hands coming in, shift for weight, sit back and push. So now the right leg's empty. So if you wanted to kick or whatever you like. Double dragon push. Up. Up comes in, 
can step. Try to keep the weight on this side, the old mobile phone or the diagonal whip, same as the first section. Come in round. Hands come in. Sink. And then bump with here and here. So bump. Make your whip. Whip comes up slightly behind your leg, remember? Hand comes across towards it and then turn from here. Body turns, arm follows. And then the elbow is settled. So diagonal whip. Or the old mobile phone maneuver. And then wave both sides. So wave to the right, little wave, little wave left. And then bring your foot back. Big sweep. Right, big sweep, left. Lift up. And then Mrs. Lee presents noodles or white snake. Hook. And jump. And then from there, sit back. Gonna hit with the arm this way and the elbow this way. So, weights on this side. This foot turns in. Sit back. And because you turned your foot in, you have to turn too far on that foot. Place in the corner. So hand and foot go down together. Both feet are pretty much together. Step out from the diagonal line now. Weight left as you open. Weight right. Drawing in the fist just like in the first section. And this hand pushing slightly to the side. Body turn. So wind up into this leg. And then the right leg pushes, unwinds, hit and punch. Again, the longer arm, long but not tense. And then from there, this is pretty much the end of the section really. Ward off, or reach round. Turn my foot and sweep. Hands coming in, grab the parrot. Step in, and push. And then from there, same as normal. Actually no, not same as the, not same as the first section. Right arm comes under, body turns. There's a sense of rolling underneath. Hand comes under as you turn forwards. Make your way. Get a sense of lifting up. So coming up to something about here. Then to the left. So bump again, shoulder and hip. And then back. I'm going to turn this foot in. So you've got a nice secure route to push from. Turning to the left. Settling into your left hip. So elbows above your legs. Top of the whip. Level your shoulder, up your fingers, level your eyes. And relax. And watch your bumblebee. Okay. So that's the end of section two. Yeah, hope that was all clear. I'll do section three next. <laughs>